It's a nice one. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Got him. That's a good one. Don't break me. Don't break me. Don't break me. Adventure super stoked because we're on one of my favorite bodies of water. We're chasing smallies today. The baits I'm using today we got, of course, Jade's jig on because this time of year the water is shallow and clear, so you're going ultra finesse. So I got the uh, finesse crawl, speaking of finesse, on there from AAFC. This is the smallie slayer from Jade's jig, and you know, I can't leave home without it. That is the old whopper plopper. I got the uh, just the white color on today, and I'm here with a friend today. We uh, came up here together. Hopefully, I find some smallies. So he's up here ahead of me a little bit, fishing. Trying. To, oh, he just had a blow up actually. Oh yeah, nice, perfect timing, Cameron. He just caught a nice. It looked like 10 to 12 somewhere in there. A little smallie just blew up on his whopper plopper, and he's using the Pac-Man, one of my favorite colors. But I can't get it right now. They're sold out everywhere, but that's okay. But anyways, we're embarking, I think, six to seven miles a day. Hopefully the river still has some good fish in it and some good holes. We shall see. But it's definitely changed quite a bit since the tornado busted through here. So stick with me, stay tuned. I'll meet you downstream. Boy, Flopper is bigger than this one. But he's first, so I'm probably gonna share with him. Little Dink. There's one. Ah. Jade's jig. Got that AAFC trailer on there, finesse crawl. Links are in the description. There's one. Finesse crawl. I followed up with that. It may just not be super active just yet. But you would think it'd be the opposite this time of morning. Unless it's that one that missed you all ago. He's not big. He's like a 10 incher. Finesse crawl, AAFC. Yeah, I'll probably get hung up. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one, the way he... Dude, that's a stud. You got him fouled hooked too or something? Yeah, he's fouled hooked now. Yeah. Oh, oh dude. Yeah. That's the one that we're after right there. Yeah. Yeah, it does hold me good. There's one. There's one. Stay on. Stay on. He's a nice one. It's a nice one. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Yes, yeah, sir. This one smoked it. Definitely. Pushing two pounds here. Nice one. 
blew up on my uh, whopper plopper. This is the white color. I guess obviously you'll figure that out in the video, but uh, just right behind this tree here, a little current swifting through there. <laughs> yes, sir. Come on. Look at that. Nice smolly right there. Woo, doggy. I didn't bring a scale today. We'll go ahead and put them on the measuring board here. It's a, if I can keep my paddle from sliding around, 17. <laughs> yes. That's what it's all about right there. Blew up on the white whopper plopper. Yeah, tail's a little messed up. It's probably from spawning earlier this year. Beautiful fish. Go ahead and let them go. Let's see where the tornado's cut through this ridge right here. That's big. I don't know if that's a window down there or what, but something's glaring real bad down there. There's one. Little guy. There's one. Little small guy. Got him on the fluke. Got him. Good mess, come on. Got him on the flip. On the flip. Well, the bite slowed down. A, it's uh, midday, and the tornado that cut through here has just changed the water so much. There's uh, hardly any deep holes to this few miles here, as you can tell. And we're back. <laughs> so, anyways, uh. I've swapped a super finesse bait, so I went with that AAFC, uh, you know, fluke, um, the twerk minnow, and then I got the finesse crawl on, so just super finessey right now. Uh, I put the whopper plopper up. Seemed pretty promising this morning, but you know, sun's directly over our head, so that's just expected this time of day. But they're really tight to cover right now, and there's so much cover, so we're kind of twerking and jigging around all this stuff but yeah there's just so much <laughs> so anyways uh i think we're getting close to the halfway point we still got several miles to go hopefully once we get past this section it'll really just start to get deep again but um all these holes up here are messed up it's just a hot mess and uh unfortunately it looked like a lot of those people back there lost their houses and all new construction behind us here uh, I think my camera's cleared. I don't know. You gonna make it? Um, barely. Okay. Again, you know, here's another tree cutting across the water. So it's just a disaster. Well, super sad. One of my favorite streams to fish, and it's just turned into ground zero for a tornado cutting through here, which happened several months ago, and they're still trying to rebuild. Right up here, it used to be a good hole, not 100% sure. So we'll keep uh, throwing our flukes and our AAFC finesse crawls, and hopefully hook into a few more good ones. There's one. Got him on the fluke. 
Little guy. Oh, he's got two with him. There's one. I think it's a rock bass. Alright, a little smaller. I'm dragging on the bottom, man. Right. Finesse crawl, Jay's jig. Got him. Chunky belt. We're having to uh, portage this section. There's a lot of down trees over here, so we're diverting this direction. This is a good opportunity to show you the CK-1, my new boat. I'm loving it so far. Uh, tracking is great. I hold a line really, really well. Uh, Cameron already mentioned his boat's kind of getting blown sideways and spinning a little bit in the current. This one's holding a true line. So it's nice until you have to drag it through stuff or try to shimmy and shake through some shallow rocks because it does grab a lot more stuff below it so anyways but i'm loving it very stable super comfortable i haven't stood up on it yet but uh i'll probably try it out eventually just the water's been super shallow and uh not too many deep holes to really stand up on it just yet but loving it got that moss green color get yours today at ht4 outdoors What I'm doing is uh, in these little runs like this, I'm just tossing this weightless fluke, letting the current drift it through to the uh, deeper section, and whoa, bam! Lift up on it and got some weight. There we go. Let him go. He's on. He's on. He came back for it. They don't get that uh, hook. <laughs> And then they're in trouble. They may spit it out real quick. Because I put the hook on the nose. That way I can torque it a little better. But they're loving it. I think I'm going to have to retie here shortly. It's looking kind of sketch. Anyways. <clears throat> grinding. It's a hot one. Got him. That's a good one. Don't break me. Don't break me. Don't break me. He's a nice one. That's a big one. That's the one I'm wanting right there. Don't break me. I should have retied the hook. Should have retied it. Stay on, baby. Good tire. Good tire. Oh, he's.
He's gonna take me on those rocks. Come here. Come here. No. He's there. There you go. Look at that nice one. He's thin. Probably about uh, 16, 17. He needs to eat. He's stuck in the shallow hole right here. His belly is empty. Yeah, I'll take him though. He put up a good fight. He is 16. We'll go ahead and let him go. There's one. Oh, put up a good fight. Come here, little buddy. Not as big as that large mouth I forgot to record. as soon as it landed. Oh, that's a nice one. Stay on. Stay on. You go ahead. I just caught this one. Yeah, nice. He's in that. I didn't cast anything past that root ball there, so. Oh, yeah. He's not that big. I thought he's bigger. That's good enough. A little fatty. He's not current all the way back. <laughs> Yo, whoppa ploppa. My uh, cameras are constantly overheating. It is a hot one today, y'all. We're still catching them though in the shallow water, shallow shoals. We finally got to an area where the tornado didn't reach, so nothing's changed down here, thankfully. Got him. Not the big one chasing me, but I'll take it. Jade's jig. Yeah. Oh. Oh, this one feels good. This one feels good. I can't tell. Oh. He came on that finesse worm. Sorry, he's dragging me over here. wrapped in my other pole there. That's how you lose them right there. Okay. Oh crap. <laughs> oh dang it. Uh, oh no. Oh I thought he came off. This is a hot mess. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That was smart gameplay man. Pull the other pole man. <laughs> I thought I was gonna lose this baby. He uh, got wrapped in another pole. Made me lose my worm. So I've been wanting to try something out. Uh, learned this trick from Chandler when I went fishing with him on the uh, Washtenaw River. He was gung ho about uh, throwing the uh, just a small wacky worm in some good looking areas, and uh, sure enough, it pays off. Pretty nice one here. Chunk. Probably about a 15. He's got a gut on. Ah, he's a 16. He's got a, I'll have to get my phone out. He's got two pinchers down his throat. <laughs> he just ate a crawfish. He's got the pinchers hanging out his throat. Anyways, we'll let him go. Awesome fight. Nice 16. Oh yeah!
But we have made it to our destination. I think it was six, seven miles in the books today. Fishing was good until midday and when uh, we got in that real bad tornado section. Cause it just turned into a uh, gravel bed with a lot of trees to cut around, so. But the uh, creek finally opened up again and then got deeper and we started catching fish again, so no complaints. It was a scorcher day. The heat index was 105. Yeah, I've been feeling it all day. Of course, we took a swim or two, cool off, bring that uh, internal body temperature down, stay hydrated, had a Gatorade, had a water bottle, and uh, feeling parched now, just talking, actually. My stinking uh, GoPro's overheated like 100 times, so I apologize. You probably missed some good fish. I know you missed at least a 14 and a 16 on the rear camera. So I looked back to turn it off and it was already off. I'm like, oh, yep. I had a little uh, malfunction there. That's okay. Camera and I, we caught them on every bait today. Uh, I went ahead and swapped and tried something new on the end, this four inch Yamamoto Sanko. Caught them on the Chopo, the Whopper Plopper. Caught them on Jade's Jig with the AAFC Finesse Crawl for the trailer. Uh, what else did I catch them on? I think that's basically what I use today. Oh, I use the AAFC flukes, the uh, twitch baits. So definitely pick you up some of those. I'll put all the links in the description below uh, with my discount codes. But uh, the CK one, I love it. Great boat, very stable, lightweight, easy to load. I was able to stand on it today, fish fine, no problem at all. And it does have that uh, keel line, kind of like the LT has. Um, so I wasn't able to get through some skinny water like uh, Cameron did in his uh, Ascend. But I was still able to get through some pretty skinny water today. But that keel line, the tracking, I wouldn't trade it in the world because that tracking helps a bunch. Keeps you straight in the current. Keeps you from twisting when you go through a shoal or two. So I love it. All you who recommended the CK to me, appreciate you. Thanks a bunch, especially for top loading on the Jeep. But anyways, we're here. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next adventure.